Hello there. Now, as I'm sure you're aware by now, yesterday was my birthday and this video is actually recorded a bit earlier because I do have an early birthday present from my partner. I'm probably actually taking a little break away from YouTube and I can't promise I haven't built any Lego. But I do have a present to show you early. It's down here on the floor, a little too big for me to lift and show you. So I think the best thing to do is just take a look and as you can see, it is a draw, but it's so much more than a draw. Let's take a closer look. So this is an angle you probably thought you'd never see. And honestly, I never thought I'd be sat on a floor talking about Lego. But this draw unit is a lot more than it appears to be because it's actually where I store pretty much all of my bricks now. And this has been a game changer for sorting Lego and especially recently a week or two ago having finished sorting all of my old lego bricks into these units just up here it freed up so many drawers and i'm actually looking at getting another one of these soon for all of my plates because i mean my wedges take up about three lines of the small drawers i've got so many big drawers filled with round four by fours or even the bigger curved plates so it would empty up so many more drawers and they do actually fit just underneath these units here, as I'm sure you can tell by the height there. Just shorter than the second cube of the IKEA Calyx unit, which, again, first off, if you are new around here, you can check out all of my Funkos and other things that you don't tend to usually see. But how I organise Lego in here is a completely different board game. Now, I've seen a load of people purchase the plastic tubs of places like Amazon or their local stores. But they work out to be very, very expensive, especially when I've got eight drawers here. There are six different divisions in each of the drawers. So that's what, like 48 different tubs that I need to pick up. And I haven't seen anyone selling a bundle of 48, let alone calculating how much that would be. So what I did instead is I purchased some boxes. In fact, I do actually have a spare box here because it was a bundle of 25 cardboard boxes. And these are 4x4x4 four by four by four inch, which is approximately 10x10x10 10 by 10 by 10 centimetres. And all I did was cut the boxes in half. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I did mark all the boxes. Because I need 48 dividers, 25 times 2 is actually 50, so I end up with a spare box, as you can see. And it's actually holding all of the bits that I cut off from the other 24 boxes, just in case I need some further divisions. But I ended up taping these boxes up. Cutting them in half, not in that order. That is that is definitely not the right order to do. And what that ends up looking like is something like this, where you can see, I'm sure, all of the different dividers in each of the sections of the drawers. And I can just pop out the drawer when I need a certain divider. And this is why I have ended up dividing all of these drawers, even though when you get to the bottom, a lot of the slopes take up two of the dividers. Because when I want a certain piece, let's say I want some 2 by 3s which... I know there are 2x6s in here, but let's say this is just 2x3s. I can pour this over my desk and then pick out all the bricks that I want to use or perhaps keep it to the side if they're just filler bricks and use some random ones. And then once I'm done, I don't need to keep the drawer out. I just take out the divider. Once I'm done, put it straight back and it just saves having so much more mess. Now, I have divided these into their own drawer. So 2x4s are up here and there is a 1x2 Technic tub because... I just don't have enough Technic bricks for them to have their own drawer. So I've actually split up the Technic bricks. One by twos are up here. And then I also have some, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't see that in the camera. But I have some one by ones, one by fours. And the other one by twos with the double Technic pinholes in the bottom. Just to fill the empty gaps that I had. Because even though I don't have enough bricks to fill this. I calculated that there were 256 two by fours in the top here. Now I do have some use for Mock Isley and a few other mocks, especially my Tantive Diorama. I have a few 2x4s in. So that isn't all of my 2x4s, but I thought that I'd have a lot, lot more. I expected to have two drawers of 2x4s. So the fact that I could fill all of these, so I've got my 2x bricks in the top two tubs. Then I have my 1x bricks, I mean my 1x2s again. They fill up a whole drawer by themselves and there's definitely more than 250 of them. There's probably i wouldn't say four times but there's probably not far off a thousand one by twos which is absolutely crazy then in my fifth drawer down which i did have to check i'm still getting used to this is all my snot bricks 
Then I have in my sixth drawer all my rounded bricks. And as I said, the bottom two are full of slopes because I have so, so many. I even missed a draw. I realized this morning just before recording, I still had a draw of two by four slopes in the unit. So I'll quickly empty that into the drawer. And this now houses all of my bricks with very few, if any, exceptions. So I'm very happy that I've got this. And especially with the cardboard boxes, they're so cheap. I think I picked up the 25 boxes for seven, eight pound on Amazon. And I'm sure you could get a cheaper deal if you know where to look for them. They were just the first ones that I come across. Cutting them in half isn't too hard. If you want to get a perfectly straight line, which I did and ended up using a cutting machine for, I guess you could also say that's another expense. But you can definitely just draw a straight line, use some scissors to cut through them and... They're just as good as the plastic tubs. As long as you're using some packing tape to seal the edges of the boxes, they're never coming undone. I've had no problems with them. They've even got a little wiggle room in the drawer. So if I wanted to, I can fit one or two bricks down the side and I can fit quite a few at the front. As you can see, with my 2x4 drawer, I've actually had one brick from every single colour. Some colours only have three or four bricks. But I've got one brick from every colour along the front and... When I'm building a mock, they are my main colours in my LEGO collection. That goes throughout all the drawers. I have a few different translucent slopes and pieces like the water and lava from Minecraft. But they're most of my colours. So whenever I'm building, that is my reference guide for colours. I know there is a periodic table of colours, which also has the LEGO and BrickLink names, which is definitely going to be more useful than this. But I find this really useful just to go along and go, you know what, I could use a different shade of blue. And as for the cardboard boxes, again, as I said, they're cheap, they're cheerful, they do the job. And I really think it's the smarter way to go. Also, if I ever change my storage system and end up using some wall drawers, or I really like the look of what David from Solid Brick Studios has done with his wall, where he's got the tubs that just hook on and off. It's similar to the drawers, only it's a bit more open, so... I definitely need to invest in a bigger air purifying system. But if I do ever decide to change and don't need the boxes, I can recycle them. I can use them for other projects, especially when it comes to 3D printing, just as some sort of container to hold little bits of plastic and all that. It would be a great use of these tubs. And I'm not throwing away some plastic tubs, which aren't as easy to recycle. I guess it's a more eco-friendly and more sustainable option for your Lego storage. And... You might not see what's in each of these tubs, but a lot of what I do now is muscle memory. I don't remember every single draw, but somewhere in my subconscious, I know that if I'm looking for a certain brick, okay, it's going to be in one of these two drawers and pretty much guide myself there over time. So I definitely recommend going with cardboard boxes rather than the plastic tubs. They're easier to get your hands on. And the best part about them, I can't believe I haven't even said this yet. They've got square bottoms, so you don't have to worry about them being rounded. A few of my Lego tubs, even, there's one just down here. I might as well pick it up and show you. As you can see, this is where all my plates are currently stored. I do have two of these. They're filling up about one and a half of these. I have my wheels and a few other pieces in them. But I'm not sure if you can make it out on the camera. They do have rounded corners on the bottom, which, fair enough for some tubs. I guess not everyone is storing Lego. But it is a big pain in the bum when you're trying to store stuff like plates and trying to make the use of them. Because these 2x4s just in the corner here, I should be able to fit 20 poles of them. But because of the rounded corners on two sides of them, first off, it does mean on this far row I can only store one plate less than the other columns. But it also means instead of storing another five columns at the back here... I can only store two because they have to be flipped on their side where they don't fit properly because of the rounded corner. So it's so much nicer having to store, especially bricks, in these squared off cardboard boxes. And as I said, it's just a lot cheaper for when you have so much Lego. So when I do get my second draw unit for the plates, which I'm not sure if I'll do any time soon because... It's taken quite some time to get this sorted. I mean, I probably got this about a month ago. And since then, any time I've had a break from recording videos or building the next day's recordings or even days where I haven't had to build anything, I've just put more or less the full day to trying to sort the bricks out into here, getting them sorted by bricks, getting them sorted by colours and 
I don't really think I've sorted many of the slopes. I know I have the 2x2s and the 1x2s sorted into their own tubs. The others I just whacked in a few of these different half boxes and called it a day because I don't use them as much. So some bricks you don't want to sort out as much. But it's so easy. There's so much space in these boxes. These are 10 by 10 centimeters. And that means I can sort 12 by 12 bricks, which does work out. A brick is roughly 8 millimeters. So times it by 10 is 80. You're looking at 9.6. I've got enough wiggle room in there that half a centimeter to actually get the bricks out which as i've said before the best way to get a brick out of a tub if you can't pick it up yourself is just to get another brick and stick it to the top so as long as you have a brick around that you can use for instance just a one by one keep that with your brick separators and use that to pull up all your bricks it's what i use for the drawers i don't need it for these boxes but if there was ever a stuck brick i'd be visiting my one by one tub first but i hope you enjoyed this video again it's an odd angle, me just sat down talking about a draw unit, but it's one of the best presents and my fiance does like to get useful presents. So I really have appreciated this and it's made it so much easier building some of my recent mocks. I know I haven't used too many bricks, but especially when I start breaking down my mock Esper mock, which I'm afraid will be soon. I have plans for that area in May. So at some point I'm gonna have to break it down it's going to be so long with all the studs there. But that is a task for another day. I probably won't be doing it soon. I'll probably put it off till the end of April. Hopefully you can use some of these tips, especially the cardboard boxes. They're so, so much easier to work with than the plastic trays. And you can also get more depth to cardboard boxes. If you did have a deeper drawer unit, you could just tape the box open just like that. And suddenly you've got about 15 centimeter deep boxes which you can just fill with lego and as i said when you're working with them want a certain color want a certain brick pour them out over the desk over the floor over your bed even if you are limited with space and then just pick the bricks from there i do apologize if this is making too much noise but i hope you enjoyed if you do end up using cardboard boxes for that do let me know in the comments because i'm really intrigued how other people end up sorting their lego of course as i said it's the cheapest option you might as well go with this unless you've already got the plastic trays laying around but thank you so much for watching drop a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe for more awesome lego content as always may the bricks be with you